What if you could slap a sticker on your arm to find out how you sweat to potentially improve your future workouts? Well, that's exactly what Gatorade's new wearable is designed to do. Hi everybody, Fox Nomad here, and today I want to help you travel smarter or really work out smarter by showing you this. It is Gatorade's new GX patch, and it's a piece of wearable tech that's designed to show you how you sweat. But there are no electronics in it. You just stick it in the inner part of your left arm before a workout, so before you play basketball or go running or lift weights. And as your body starts to heat up and sweat, that sweat is going to interact with the chemicals that are in the GX patch, which you can then later analyze with the GX app to find out how much water you lose during a typical workout and what your sodium levels might be. For a lot of you, no matter how active you are, getting those body metrics through wearables is fun and interesting. So whether it's through a smartwatch or a phone or a wearable piece of tech like a heart rate monitor, but most of those wearables rely on your movements, whereas this GX patch uses a chemical reaction with your sweat and it's also filled with dye so that you can see that it's actually working. To test the GX sweat patch, I went on a solid 10K run in about 20 degrees Celsius or 70 degree Fahrenheit weather on a mostly clear day. It wasn't too warm outside in the shade, but within the 8 to 37 degrees Celsius or 46 to 99 Fahrenheit range, Gatorade says you'll need to be in for a good result. The GX sweat patches come in packs of two and are single use, and they run about $25, meaning each patch will cost you about $12.50. You peel off the back and place the 6.3 by 2.5 centimeter patch on the inner part of your left arm, closer to your elbow joint. Just be sure that you slightly fold your arm when you're placing the patch, otherwise the crease in your elbow as you start sweating might cause the patch to lift up, like it did for me. The hypoallergenic adhesive is pretty sticky, even if your arms are a little hairy like mine. Just make sure that the patch is far enough away from the crease of your arm so that it stays in place, even during vigorous exercise. To get useful data from the patch, Gatorade says that you'll need to work out for about 30 minutes, which is what I found on my run. That's when the chemical dye started to get activated with my sweat. Once you do start sweating though, you'll start to see two colors here, one purple for sodium analysis and the other orange, which shows you there's enough sweat to take a measurement. The more you sweat, the more it fills up in these little tubules, but based on my experience, unless it's really hot and you're really working out heavily, you're not gonna fill up the whole thing with orange dye. By the end of my 10K run, plus some extra running around in a field, my patch ended up looking like this. Now the next step is to check your hydration analysis using Gatorade's GX app, which right now is available for iOS only. You can use it as a guest or by creating an account if you want to maintain a profile, but once the app is open, you point your camera at the patch. It took me two tries to line it up just right, but once it's done, it takes about 60 seconds to get your results. You can also tie in your Apple Health data with GX if you want the app to get more information about your workout and body weight for personalization. There's also the option to connect the GX app with other fitness tracking data, but if you don't use any of those, you can just enter your workout manually. Just specify your workout type, duration, and intensity. The GX app also asks for your weight, sex, and the conditions of your workout, whether it was indoors or not, plus the average temperature. You can even enable location services to let the GX app pull the weather information for you automatically. And finally, there's an option to enter any fluids you did drink while working out, but once that's all entered, you get your sweat profile results. Here it shows you your approximate fluid loss in ounces per hour along this colored scale. For me, it's showing that I'm hydrated, but it might be close to the time when I might want to rehydrate. You can also see your sweat rate, which for me was about 1,056 milliliters per hour for this particular run which seems slightly less than normal, but still in that normal range. And my sodium level was registered as low, which I guess is a good thing. So based on all of that information, you can get an idea of how much you might want to drink or hydrate for a particular workout in a particular set of conditions. And obviously Gatorade wants you to replenish your fluids with, you know, like water or Gatorade. But to their credit, the GX app doesn't seem like an advertisement, doesn't have drink Gatorade all over it. And while it clearly is designed to get you to drink more, and hopefully that more is from Gatorade, it's more like a fun tool that's informational and useful and not just a blatant advertisement for Gatorade products. After your workout, the GX app can also create a plan based on your workout goals. But honestly, I found this to be pretty generic and not very useful or personalized. Another thing to note is the food dye I mentioned before that adds color to the tubules when they begin reacting with your sweat. 
Well, when you take the GX patch off, it leaves behind a stain. You can wash it off pretty easily, but the next day your inner arm might have a faint orange color where you were wearing the patch. All of that said, the GX patch is kind of a fun tool to use once or twice if you enjoy body metrics or workout metrics or wearables in general that can tell you a little bit more about how your body functions. But there are two reasons I don't think you would use the GX sweat patch on a regular basis. And the first is your sweat rate is likely to be consistent across workouts. So if I did that same 10K run in the same weather or approximately the same weather, I'd likely sweat the same amount. Now, that depends on how hydrated I was before the workout and after, but assuming things are generally consistent, assuming that before you work out, you're drinking and eating kind of the same stuff every day, more or less, then your sweat rate and sodium levels are probably going to be similar across all of those workouts. And the second reason I don't think you would use the GX sweat patch on a regular basis is because they are kind of expensive. If you work out five times a week, then that's going to add up with GX patches to about $250. And I don't know if that investment is really going to help your workouts in tangible results, like running a shorter 10K time or lifting more weights or a better free throw average, for example. I could see professional athletes though using these GX patches where peak performance is critical and where their body metrics are already being measured carefully in other ways. This is just another tool to get more information about things like hydration. But for most people, is it gonna help you improve your workouts? Probably not. But the GX sweat patch is still a fun tool to use, especially if you have a consistent workout routine and you work out on a regular basis and you are into body metrics and wearables and you want some a little bit more information about how your body works, especially about how your body sweats, then the GX sweat patch might be something interesting and fun to try once or twice. So there you have it. That's my look at the GX sweat patch, a wearable I like because the tech is just so simple and straightforward. But I'm curious, is this something you would use on your next run or your workout? Is something you would try out? Let me know down in the comments below. And while you're down there, hit the like and subscribe buttons. I'll have new videos for you every week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. arm and then you but there are no electronics in it you just stick it on your but there are no electronics on it